Okay, good evening ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my Formula One 2019 career mode. And I wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving, and hope everyone's having a great time having turkey and meeting families and friends and stuff. And wish everyone happy Thanksgiving, and also, uh, now that the uh, Christmas uh, extravaganza has begun, we wish everyone a happy holidays as well. And we're episode number 98 of our Formula One 2019 career mode. This is the Italian Grand Prix at the Autodromo Monza Circuit. If in case you missed the previous one, which was the uh, Belgium Grand Prix, uh, be sure to check it out on youtube.com slash speedshape. I'll leave your comments and your likes. And uh, any new subscribers down the road, just click on the bell and subscriber and add in and then enjoy the j Formula One show. Things have uh, gone pretty good here on Thanksgiving Day here at the Italian Grand Prix. We have uh, been third fastest here. Uh, we're still running the uh, the second engine component. We're, as you can see, it's all weared out, and uh, we have about 67 percent. But it's still fast enough to uh, set a fast pace here at the Italian Grand Prix Monza Circuit. So it's still running fast. And then we were fast in practice session number two with a minute and 20.666, and then we were a minute 20.510. And we were still fastest in the final practice session, so let's see uh, how qualifying is going to play out. We expected maybe qualify, maybe about minute 19, around that time, or maybe a minute 18 will be pretty good. And the good news for the uh, Italian Grand Prix, we thought maybe qualifying was going to rain, but it all changed out. And qualifying will be sunny and partly cloudy, and then the race uh, looks fabulous as well, sunny and partly cloudy. So let's see how we can do... Uh, in qualifying for the Italian Grand Prix as we get ready for episode number 98 of our season 5 Formula 1 2019 with the Red Bull Honda. is all wrapped up as we move into qualifying here at the Autodromo di Monza for the Italian Grand Prix. Any moment now, the teams will be heading out onto the track. So that ends, it's another Grand Prix weekend, another exciting qualifying session ahead of us. What are you going to be looking out for over the next few minutes? The first question is going to be who can avoid making mistakes. There isn't much margin for error in qualifying, and you have to bear in mind that the track conditions may have changed since practice, particularly as we've had a few support races in the meantime. If the brake bias settings, for example, don't take this into account, it's extremely easy to lock up a front wheel and cause a flat spot. Just like that, your lap's ruined, and you've wasted a set of tyres to boot. Here we go. Let's see what we can do in the first qualifying session. And we should be able to be quick uh, uh, throughout the qualifying, uh, throughout the session, so now that we don't have to worry about any rain uh, in sight. Track is pretty empty right now. Lots of space. Botas is now the fastest in P1. Let's see if we can try to beat this time. We did a good job getting through the chicane cleanly.
I think we should be able to be a second faster than one second faster than Valtteri Bottas. We got very quick into the second sector. Oh, that's a nice lap. Minute 19.323 on this Honda. It really uh, flew into this Monza circuit. And that's pretty much going to do it for the uh, first practice, first qualifying session. Set in a record breaking lap at a minute 19.323. And take a look at this, George Russell also breaks into the minute 19 marker on his Alfa Romeo. And there's something wrong with Max Verstappen's car, at least he got a minute in 20.946, but he is about a second and a half slower than I am, but he barely made it into P12, so there's something wrong with his Honda. I hope he doesn't have another DNF in this race. But what a surprise uh, P2 for George Russell. Minute 19.880. And he was the only driver in the Alfa Romeo car breaking into minute 19. Everyone else has a minute in 20s. So we're doing a good job so far in the start of this qualifying of the Italian Grand Prix. Let's see what we can do in the second qualifying session. And Max Verstappen improves a little bit on, on his qualifying lap. He goes a minute in 20.467. And hopefully during the race I have a much better uh, Italian Grand Prix than I did last season. Remember last season I... Um, had about two flashbacks because I ran into uh, Sebastian Vettel and Lucas Weaver. That was in last season's uh, Italian Grand Prix when I was doing it on Facebook Live. handling pretty good. Let's see uh, how this qualifying lap is. It's not going to be faster than it was in the previous qualifying. Well, minute 19.855, but uh, I'm pretty much sure I just want to save the tires during the race. So far, our fastest lap is a 1 minute 19.8. Well, it wasn't really good enough because uh, Lucas Weaver just got the fastest time at a minute 19.684. But we're pretty much going to uh, stay where we are because, uh, because we got one more qualifying to go and it's the final qualifying. That is the important one. And George Russell got a bit slower uh, on his qualifying. He had an incredible P2, but just like the second qualifying, he was uh, a lot slower because everybody else uh, made some adjustments and... Uh, we were a lot faster, so me and Verstappen are second and third right now. 
But let's see how we can do in the final qualifying and let's see if we can go for a 1-2 uh, front row again. And this will be, uh, I think, the, I think it'll be the 6-1 that we had this season for the uh, front row start for the Italian, for the, for the season in this race. So uh, here we go. Final qualifying here for the Italian Grand Prix. Man, I'm so glad in the final qualifying the rain was uh, pushed back a little bit. So we have enough time to finish qualifying. And once again, Lucas Weaver in the racing boy car is still quick. a bit slower, but then 20.187. Let's see if we can get faster on the first lap. And we are, minute 19.380. That is a very quick qualifying lap. so we don't have to worry about rain at all. And that's a nice lap. Minute 19.293. Let's see if they can hold up for pole position. And indeed it does. Complete, let's review our top three today. Hawk, 
Faber and Charles Leclerc. With qualifying wrapped up, we now have our grid lineup for the big race tomorrow. Be sure to join us then for what will no doubt be a fantastic race. So what a great job in qualifying. And look at this, I got two racing point cars right behind him. And we don't know what happened with Verstappen. He's still continuing to uh, slow his uh, speed on his Red Bull Honda. So he'll start in P7. So not a good, not a very good qualifying for him. But let's hope he can move up uh, into the field. So there you have it. We are now on the pole for the Italian Grand Prix. Uh, that was a great job. And that is going to be my 400 and 340th career pole. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Lucas was on fire in qualifying today. He sure was. He uh, did a great job with this car. He'll be starting right alongside me for the front row. Old F2 teammate beside you. Great. Well, that's everything. Well done. That was a good qualifying performance. Well, indeed it was, with a good uh, qualifying performance. And look at that. And, uh, and there you see my engine is 69% right now. But uh, I'll be using the last of it for, for this uh, race here in the Italian Grand Prix before I change it up uh, for the next race in the Singapore Grand Prix. And that is uh, going to be my 42nd uh, pull. So that is officially my 340th career pull here for the... Uh, Worthy of career pull for my Formula One history. And the 42nd of my 2019 game as well. So let's see what we can do in the race. Uh, we're going to have a, a breathtaking 53 laps, a very fast Formula One racing at the Monza circuit at the Italian Grand Prix. So let's get it on. It's race day here in Italy once again. Monza, home to so many records. The smallest winning margin, for example. Do you remember in 1971, Peter Gethard beat Ronnie Peterson to the line by one hundredth of a second. There were 40 overtakes for the lead alone in 1965, and Kimi Raikkonen dropped a record top speed of 230 miles per hour here, just over a decade ago. So there's a lot to live up to then for all of our drivers today. With top speeds reaching 215 miles per hour, only a few places can challenge Monza's crown as the fastest circuit in F1. Heartbreaking zones going into the three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6 mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, two DRS zones will help encourage some closer action. And it's an absolute pleasure to be joined once again by Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Hawk. They come into this race with a healthy championship lead. I don't want to say the title race is over, but surely it's going to take something special or catastrophic to change the outcome at this point. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves, Crofty. 
Yes, it looks like a big lead, but all it takes is a locked break into turn one, a sticky wheel nut in the pit stop, and that could all get turned on its head. You can never discount one more sting in the tail. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking yeah, up here's the after starting yesterday's break for the exciting Grand Prix. Hawk lines up on pole position. Making my 40 second pole on my 2019 game. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Leclerc, Gasly, Kevin Magnussen, and Bottas, Verstappen, Hulkenberg, Russell, and Daniel Kvyat, Rosham, Norris, Sebastian Vettel, and Ricardo, Albon, Sainz, they've taken a grid penalty, Kimi Räikkönen, and Devon Butler, Hamilton, and Sergio Perez completes our grid, and with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Well, we see five drivers have taken grid penalties, Devon Butler... And then also Carlos Sainz in the Ferrari took his penalty. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. All right, let's take a look and see what the strategy is going to be for this 53 lap race here in the Italian Grand Prix. And we should uh, be doing the one stop tandem here. We should make it on one stop. And so let's hope the uh, the sub tires will last for about 25 laps. And then and then anyway, when we go on to the uh, mediums, but if we do that strategy, that'll be good. But if not, we'll do the uh, two-tire strategy. So we'll see how it will progress uh, throughout this race. And probably we'll go 56 laps. And I think 56 laps will do good here in the Italian Grand Prix. So anyway, here we go, getting ready for our formation lap here for episode number 98 in our Formula 1 2019 career mode at the Italian Grand Prix. As we roll away to start our formation lap, and you see him starting right behind the two racing point Mercedes. And Pierre Gasly is a P4 while Carlos Sainz gets his, uh, gets involved with his grid penalty. He'll start in the back of the field, so he's a... A lot of ground to make up, and my teammate for Stafford, let's see if he moves up. Moves up alongside those two uh, AMG Petronas Mercedes. Uh, I think pretty much everybody in the next race uh, in the Singapore Grand Prix are all going to be changing their engines uh, for the final time this season. And should be able to last the last uh, six races. So this will be the last and final race uh, for that uh, for our current engine that we're using right now. We've used up about 69%, so I think by the end of this race it should be able to be ending at right around 75, I guess. Grid. Everyone will be uh, taking their right grid position. The rest of the grid is forming up. Be patient and watch for the lights. Alright, here we go. Five red lights coming on. And we are underway here at the Italian Grand Prix. The man in both of the racing point cars come right in between me. Let's see what happens in the first corner. Man, and I passed right both of them. Wow. That was a beautiful job passing both of those cars coming into that hard bus stop chicane and I'm now in the lead here at the Italian Grand Prix.
Aaron Hansen goes up into third place uh, while Lucas Weaver loses a little bit of ground. That's a strong start. Well done. So does Charles McLaren. He gets a fast lap. Minute 23, and so does Max Verstappen. Still going fast. This is unbelievable. Carl Leclerc has got a run. I think whatever they did with that racing point car, it is running quick. Still having trouble trying to get into that uh, chicane over there. But Carl Leclerc, he has got a good racing point car now. And look at him close in on me. Four or 53 laps. I'm trying to get up to speed over here. I did so well in qualifying, and now I'm starting to pull a little bit of a gap on Charles Leclerc. 